This is Wolf with uh, the Milago Network, and today we're walking through Assassin's Creed 3. It's going to be more of a more of a playthrough than a walkthrough, and a very long review at that. But irregardless, welcome to part one. I'll try to keep quiet during the cinematics, so you guys can get the full experience. We're here. In Assassin's Creed 3, you uh, continue with the storyline. Apparently, um, from the first two games, I haven't played much of them myself, but... The Templars... are the Let's enemy go. in there. Cut. So, off on our way to stop a solar flare. At least that's the, um, looks like that's the objective. 2012, there's supposed to be some sort of solar flare that's going to happen in this game's universe. Apparently the Templars are the ones that are going to cause it or let it happen. I'm a newcomer to the Assassin's Creed series, so... This walkthrough will be through the eyes of the newcomer. So any of you thinking about getting into the franchise, well, I'm in the same boat. Apparently he stole the ball from Treasure Planet. <laughs> in another moment, down went Alice after it. Never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Looks like we're in some type of forerunner passage. Of course, there are no forerunners in this game, but like I said, I'm new to this series. I'm not exactly sure of the mythology. I'm not fond of the jump cuts, though. I haven't played any of the campaign um, before this point, so... I think we're here. I'm fresh. Fresh into it. I've only played the multiplayer of Assassin's Creed 3. Not much of that either. So, this is a completely new perspective. I'm, I lost my glow stick. Can't pick it up. Oh, that sucks. Like feels much more fluid than other third-person games that I've played, like Mass Effect. Reminds me of Infamous. I've been played on Charted. I'm, I'm imagining it's pretty close to that as well. In movements, not in the stealth aspects. Sequence. Son. Sir. Okay. That's what it is. My mistake. <sighs> Here we go again. Desmond? Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The 
The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it I wanted. Love talking to buildings. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. The... She's... She's the talking movie. to me. Sure. When he talks to buildings, he's not crazy. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make Those sure there aren't any sharp. major issues. <laughs> All right. Let's stay right what here. What do you need me to do? Oh. We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Here's edge time. I could be a lot better at this. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Okay. That's simple enough. strange I mean coming from infamous this game does everything for you um, it's very fluid Assassin's Creed 3 is huh. rerun your way through All this right, little obstacle it. course um, but as I was saying Assassin's Creed 3 is a really fluid game. It's uh, it's not like some other third-person shooters or um, third-person platformers, where it feels like you're moving through water or sludge, or you're sliding on ice. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. Okay. All right, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Oh. Can I? Jump up and no, no oh, man. I screwed up. Can can I have another try at that? Damn it! I suck. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna be a good student. Suicide. Is good. Remember that. Okay, I can try again. Good. I love optional objectives and I must complete all of them. It's a <coughs> obsessive compulsive disorder. I'm still getting used to these controls. You don't need half these in multiplayer. There we go. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Oh, gun. No. Forget that. Can't pick it up. Reminds me of the Mirror's Edge Time Trial DLC. Uh, the environment, that is. I haven't played much of Assassin's Creed 1 or 2 or any of the spin offs, so I, I don't really know which came first. Naturally, Mirror's Edge took it from somebody else, of course, but still. Which was the first of the two? I'd like to know. If you guys know, please uh, drop me a comment. Oh, shit. <laughs> that almost turned out pretty badly. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple Solid wants ground. from you. Thank God. Was it made out of plywood? Looks like it. Very, very thin plywood. That's beautiful though, this effect. Shadows look grainy. I suppose that's the anti-aliasing diffusion. I don't know. I'm not a game developer. Uh, sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, we'll right. that's all. Transforming don't building forget your of invitation. Me. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Hold a sign for me like they do at the airports. 
makes me feel special, important. Here we go, let's just jump right in. Invitation, please. <laughs> Shall I take your coat, sir? I gotta remember that next time they got Ladies a sold out movie. Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to out. kindly find. This guy doesn't get thrown out, but I would. This menu system is really strange. Uh, I guess we don't need to check that. Find your seat. I need to find my seat. I don't have a ticket. I don't Good have a evening, sir. This way, please. My apologies. From the plus side, since it's like the, uh, what, the 1700s or something? No popcorn bags. <laughs> Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? That's... That's not evil vision, that's detective vision. It's, it's from Batman, Arkham City, down yeah, Arkham Asylum. Playing as Bruce Wayne. A lawyer is an honest employment, so is mine. Like World's too, greatest detective. Both against Rhodes and Bob. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. Sir, Black Mall has sent word of trial. I already have. And she hopes you will order matters. Thank so God there's no security off. cameras. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy that our Boys, if we're going back in the past, Tom these assassins would be out of a job. Guilty. A lazy dog. A thousand pardons. When I took him the time with uh, my apologies. I told him what would come to if he did not mend his hand. I like this guy's this style. This is death without reprieve. Atwell style. For Tom Gag. My kind of style. <laughs> Seems pretty, pretty well lit. How the hell do they not see me? I dropped down. I'm not going to risk it. Can I eagle vision? No, I can't. No, I'm lost. No, I've got to go up here. So it kind of just throws you in. I guess this is a tutorial section. Not much of an explanation. I have no idea what the hell is going on so far with the story, but I've never really played any Assassin's Creed games before this. Maybe 10, 15 minutes of uh, one or two. Not much more than that. Incredibly. No oblivion marks, no oblivion marks. Oh. Okay. Remember those locks in oblivion? Now those, those were a pickle. I hated those locks. Then then Skyrim and uh, I guess Fallout was the first with that, uh, that type of lock. Here's at a clockwise motion, nothing else. No tumblers. Not like oblivion. And this game, I guess you just break them. That's convenient. Damn, what you didn't break. I got this stage by stage for to a stage for I know I've seen everything. Yeah, the 
nice with this gun, man. I'm very impressed. There's plenty of detail, you know, there's uh, plenty of audible detail too, you can hear people talking in the background, whispering. Not all men is a subject. I hope it carries through. At the time, it's only the intros are pretty. No, no, don't, don't kill the most interesting man in the world. Dos Equis. Hey, Phil. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. No. Oh, God. Took his Dakota ring. The bastard took his Dakota ring. <laughs> Witness kill him. Damn it. I haven't seen a game yet that lets you kill children, at least I can't remember one. I know there's mods for Skyrim and Oblivion that let you do it. Wait, were there children in Oblivion? Uh, no. No, I don't believe so. My mistake. You could add them though, with, uh, with mods. That's off the topic. Nobody makes my company! Hurry! Come, please! Oh. That man there! Seize him! A man was killed in the upper mountain! Oh my! I beg your pardon, man. They've got away with the murder here. Oh, Patience! Not very often I can say that straight. There is no danger! So who is that guy I killed? Is he from another game? I don't know anything that's going on so far. You just slap people around, no one cares. You slap people around in real life, they slap you back. Imbecile! Where are you? Oh god, they suspect. Hey, you jerk. Where are you going? Someone else died too. Man, look at these environments. All these people run at once. Beautiful. But it does look like there's a, a dusty fog or dust and blues over everything. Hey. Make way. Assassin, make way. How was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bride. By your command. Glows in the dark. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. 
That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Shh, what's our cause? <laughs> I forgot. Go forth, Hatham, and bring honor to us all. Mission complete. Your progress. Assassinate the target at the Royal Opera House. I'd say that's complete. Synchronized. 100. No, that's 0%. Damn it. Alright. But, uh, this has been part one of the Milargo Network walkthrough of Assassin's Creed 3. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Please uh, like, favorite, subscribe, comment if you like this video, and uh, tune in for part two.